Today we're making Hainese chicken. It's a popular dish in Southeast Asia and our most requested recipe. So here it is guys. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you know when we have a new video. With its name, Hainanese chicken, it actually originates from Hainan province in China. Thanks to immigration, a lot of the people from Hainan moved to Southeast Asia, so Singapore and Malaysia. And um, back in the day, this is more like Wenchangji, so it's more like a Cantonese uh, white poached chicken, if that's what you're familiar with. But when it migrated to Southeast Asia, a lot of the local flavors were introduced. So um, you can see that sometimes people use pandan leaf in the rice, they use jasmine rice, and also one of the dipping sauces that they use is a chili sauce, and that wasn't part of the um, original Hainanese chicken. All right, so let's get started. So we have our uh, free range running chicken here. You can make this dish with just a breast or just a thigh and whatever you want, but we chose again to use the whole thing because it's really hard to find chicken breast with, with, the skin. That, with the skin. Yeah. The first thing you want to do is turn it on its back. There's an important thing about Heine's chicken rice and it is a chicken fat. We're going to trim as much of this chicken fat as we can from the inside of the cavity. Uh, you can see it here. Uh, try not to break the skin, but take out as much of this fat as you can. So this fat will go into our rice later. So the next thing you do after trimming the fat from the cavity is cut off the butt. There we go. And we'll keep that again for later. So the next step is to salt the chicken. Yep. So you want to rub it in, you know, into every crevice here. And you can go pretty heavy on this, on this salt. Uh, don't be afraid. Make sure to have it inside the cavity as well. Okay, let's get it inside the cavity. All right, give it a good massage. So inside the cavity, we're going to put some ginger, shallots, Is it gonna fit? We'll make it fit. Well, the pandan leaf, you're actually supposed to tie it in a knot as well. So pandan leaf is a very Southeast Asian aromatic. It might be difficult to find where you are. We find ours in the freezer section of our Asian grocer. But if you don't have it, don't worry, you can skip this step as well. Mm -hmm. And in she goes. We're using these extra large Ziploc bags for this because we will be putting broth inside. Yeah. Okay, and so the last step is to fill the bag with the broth. You're going to want to put as much liquid as it takes so to ensure that the cavity of the bird is filled um, because air is not a good conductor of heat. So with the liquid, this makes sure that we can cook the chicken inside and out. Do we need more then? Yeah, we need a little more. Okay, that's good. And simple as that, now we put it in the sous vide for three hours. So this chicken is done. We need to quickly put it in the ice bath. Yep. And this is a little bit different from our regular ice bath because we're gonna take it out of the bag mm -hmm. and put the chicken directly in the ice bath. And that's actually the traditional way of doing it. And that is to keep the skin tight and also the meat a good texture. I'm just pulling out the stuff from the cavity uh, before I put it in the ice bath. I'm gonna throw it into the ice bath. Okay, there we go. And you will let this sit in there for at least 15 minutes up to half an hour. Okay. And now this is very important to keep this broth. This is where you're going to make your rice and actually some of your sauces as well. So we're going to strain it out. Ooh, 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 heaven. So now that we saved our liquid gold, don't do what I did and spill some. Um, and our chicken is resting. Just flip it around every so often. Okay, um, make sure the skin tightens and you don't break it. After the 15 to 30 minutes and once it's cooled, you want to air dry it. So to do that, we're just trying to stand it up whichever way you can and just put it on a pan, let it drip dry and air dry. And we're going to start on our rice. So the first thing we do is to render out the fat. Yep. So this is the, all the fat that we cut off the chicken right from the beginning. We're gonna get this a little hot. 
um, but you don't want to go too hot and it's actually better to probably do it on a low medium heat because you don't want to burn this and, and the, it'll start to smoke pretty fast. So it's been quite a while. Uh, you can see our skin has now crisped up and that's pretty much as much as we're going to get out of there. Much less than I thought it would be, but you know, it is what it is. So we're going to discard it and get rid of it. We don't want it in the rice actually. And now the next step is to add the shallots, ginger, and garlic. And give a little more heat. Okay, we're gonna fry these until aromatic. And so we left our ginger a little bit bigger because I do wanna pick it out. I don't want it in the rice. Um, I think it imparts a little too much flavor. Once that's fragrant, you'll put the, your washed rice in there. This rice is three cups of a Chinese rice cup. So it's not a regular, like a measurement cup cup. So one of these is about uh, three quarter cups. So when we're talking about rice cups, we're talking about that. Yep. And because, you know, the chicken rice is supposed to be a very fragrant, oily rice, um, we didn't have enough oil from our chicken. So we're just adding a little bit of sesame oil in there to enhance the fragrance. So one thing I really want to talk about is this rice washing stick. I love this thing. I hate washing rice with my hands because it's so cold. You're supposed to use cold water to wash. And so I can use this, wash my rice and draining out like that. It's amazing. I, I think if there's any gadget that's like, you know. Single use. Single use gadget that I must have is this rice stick. So once it's pretty much coated, we're going to add it into our rice pot. And guys, get a good rice pot. Like rice cooker, you mean? Rice cooker. We brought ours back from like Japan or Taiwan. We carried it on the plane with us because rice is, is life. <laughs> and we'll add our chicken broth in from the sous vide. And you know, I actually just used the lines in there that's existing and it's pretty accurate. And that's corresponding to these rice cups. So we have three cups of these this rice. Yeah. So I'll go to the line number three line. Yeah, but do whatever you do, usually do with rice, it's the exact same. And then now the next thing is to put our pandan oh, yeah. leaf in there. So you tie this in a knot and some scallions. Okay, right. and then now put it in your rice cooker and let it do its thing. Now, one of the trademark things about Hainanese chicken rice is to have the three sauces. I think every part of this dish is a signature dish. The rice, the chicken, and the sauces. What it's else very is specific, okay? <laughs> but so now we're gonna make the first sauce, which is the ginger and scallion sauce. And this is a very, um, again, very classic sauce for a lot of the Chinese chicken dishes. You probably saw it with our soy sauce chicken, and you can see the link to that video in our description below. I diced some scallions. I, diced, I tried to dice them as finely as I could. Uh, you can also do it in your food processor if you want. We did our ginger in the food processor, so I'm gonna put that in. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're gonna heat up some oil. So just a little bit of salt. And a little bit of sugar. Okay. You wanna mix that? Yep. Okay, once it's shimmering, it's ready. Turn off the heat. And we're gonna pour it on there. So you wanna be careful, it will splatter. So take a step back, pour it directly down the middle. There we go. Give it a little mix. The, the bowl is going to be hot, so just be careful. And there you have it, super simple. So now that we have our chicken broth, we can make our chili sauce. So I'm going to de-seed it. If you like really spicy, I guess you don't need to, but I don't remember the sauce being too spicy, right? No, I think it's to taste the flavor of the chili not like burn your mouth off. Okay, so I'm going to open it up and try and de as much as I can. You're using your bare hands, a risk taker. Don't go to the bathroom after this. So we can use other mortar and pestle or you can use a little food processor and that's what we're gonna do. Okay, chilies. And then we'll put in our ginger. Two pieces here. And we'll put in our garlic. We'll use three cloves. Okay, let's give it a blitz. You're looking for like a really bright orange color and I think we achieved that. Mmm, smells spicy. 
Okay, let's put in our sugar. And then put in our lime juice. Okay. And we have our broth, which is still warm, and that's important so it can melt the seasoning. Mix that in. Okay. It's pretty good. I don't think it needs more salt. And for the last sauce, we have this dark sweet soy. Uh, ABC sauce is a well-known brand. There's other ones as well. But if you don't have this, you can also make it yourself. I'm going to put the uh, ingredients in the description down below. I'm so excited. Finally! To eat this. It didn't take that long actually. It didn't take that long but it, like when we were filming you can see the gelatinous layer under the skin and that looked really cool. So that's what the ice bath does. It helps you create that gelatinous layer and that's an important part of Hainanese chicken. Mm -hmm. It's more of a texture thing, right? Yeah, for sure. Mm, it's like very moist. The texture of the skin is very good. And considering that this is a breast piece, yeah, the texture is excellent. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try the chili sauce. I'm gonna double dip, it's my house, so. I'm not a big fan of the ABC sauce. Too strong? It's too strong. Chili sauce is excellent. Kinda tastes like fish sauce, actually. That's what I thought too. The ginger and scallion is like a foolproof. Look how caramelized it is, it's like so thick. I don't mind it, it is a little sweet. You know what this rice reminds me of? What? Glutinous rice? Yes. It does, a like little bit. Like the Chinese bit. glutinous rice. Because it's kind of sticky and kind of oily as well, so it has that flavor. Mm -hmm. It really reminds me of that. Hmm. I okay. think um, this is one of our best chickens. Yeah. Texture-wise, everything is just like, I think it's perfect in the sous vide. I'm very satisfied, it is really good. Well, let us enjoy this and we'll see you next time. Let us know if you have any other requests in the comments down below and make sure to give us a like. Ooh, you're... you're wasting our liquid Shut gold. Shut up, Kevin. <laughs>